Hi, welcome to Nonship video tutorial. It's a remake of a basic surface exercise, the rotary switch. Done in a different way, so let's have fun with on shape. Okay, let's start with a sketch, maybe on the front plane. I need a construction line. Length maybe 100. And then another line. It sh should be dimensioned and length might be 50. And the distance from the origin is 60. And I need an angle and this should be six degrees. Nice. Leave that sketch. Another sketch on the same plane. Therefore I need a center point arc. Maybe like that. Add construction lines like this and the radius should be 20 that angle should be 70 and this distance should be 50 and this one here should be 30. Now I need an angle between this one and that one and this should be 10 degrees. So that's 10 degrees here and 10 degrees there. Okay. And my third sketch is on the right plane. Again a center point arc. This is the center point. It should start here. Horizontal aligned. Go up there. Vertical aligned. And the radius should be 64. Okay, now it's time for our surfaces. Let's start with this one. I want to have an extrude and this might be 60. Okay, then I want to extend this edge and that edge and therefore I will use a rule surface. So before rule surface, select this edge and it should be tangent and the distance might be, let's take a look, yeah 40 should do, match with all, that's okay, confirm, then another ruled one at this edge, again go for tangent and maybe again 40. Confirm. Then I need another extrude with this sketch here and this should be 60 at least. And then I need a revolve with this one. The axis should be that one. Not a full but in one direction. Turn it around and it should be 90 degrees. Confirm. Now let's split those surfaces. Sadly, this is still not a real surface trim command. But let's try. Let's go for split. I want to split this surface and that surface with this one. 
and I want to keep the tools but I don't want to keep both sides so this looks okay let's confirm now I want to split this surface here with that one so go for this one and split it with this one I want to keep the tools and don't want to keep both sides so I have to switch like that looks okay yes confirm now let's split this surface here keep the tools with that one here don't keep both sides so this doesn't work not really but I can confirm and then I can delete this surface here so go for delete and delete this one now let's make a union between this one and that one okay and now let's try to split this surface here with this one doesn't quite work but in the end it will work so go for another split and I want to split this one here with this one I want to keep the tools I don't want to keep both sides doesn't really work so just confirm but now I can delete those surfaces here and that will do the trick let's make another union between this one and that one confirm and now I need a fillet there you go I want to go for 20 millimeter on this edge here switch to variable fillet and select this point or vertex, vertex here and make this 10 millimeter at this point and confirm great and now I can mirror that surface here so go for mirror I want to mirror this part with that plane here and I could add it to, to the already existing one so go merge with all confirm and then another mirror with this surface here and that mirror plane and again go to add merge with all and confirm let's hide those planes and I'm done no not not yet sorry I forgot one fillet here so go back to this point in time and add another fillet with five millimeter on this edge confirm go roll back to the end and I'm done so hope you enjoyed this one if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel and you can follow me also on instagram facebook grabcat and many more thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye